We're the Knox and we're here with Coyote Peterson. Who? Coyote Peterson. What's going on guys? Coyote Peterson from Brave Wilderness. If you want to check out some awesome animal adventures, check out our channel. Stay wild. Here. But we're gonna have a lot of fun, aren't we? Yeah. You guys probably want to see some animals. Yeah. We do have some animals, in all fairness. All right, we've got to stay all the time. I want to make sure everybody is safe. This is beautiful. That is a Gila monster. Now, the Gila monster is the only venomous lizard in the United States. Did you guys know that? I saw you said no. The answer to that is yes. Now in North America, there is the Gila monster and there is the beaded dragon. And when we're talking about venomous lizards, this is definitely a species that if you ever see it in the wild, you would only want to admire it from a safe distance. Because they may look slow and sluggish, which was the mistake that I made when I got a GoPro camera way too close to one's face, and it spun around and bit my thumb. We think, and we'll bring the camera over this way too so you guys can see too. That's how it smells. That's exactly right. That is how the lizard smells. So they have a forked tongue similar to a snake. Now Gila monsters are cool. Gila monsters are scaly. Gila monsters technically check off that list of things Coyote has unintentionally been bit by. But do you guys want to see something maybe just a little bit cuter? Yeah. Backwards. Okay. Ooh. What do we think? Ten buttons of cuteness? Yeah! Is that a ten? Yeah! Now, I'm not going to talk too crazy loud because I don't want to be real loud next to her ears. But isn't she adorable? So that's a Tamandua, also known as a lesser anteater. And they are incredible animals. You'll find these guys in Central and South America, right? Oh, you're, you're rubbing your nose on my finger. You just got snot on me. That's funny. It's always going to be something. Have you guys ever seen this animal species before? Yeah. Yes, you have. Did you see it on Brave Wilderness? Yeah. yeah, there was an episode where I ate termites alongside one of these little guys. And we doing it like this so that we can see them. All right, so you see the very long prehensile tail? Yeah. Almost like a fifth leg that helps them balance move through the environment. But do you see those claws up front? Yeah. Look at those crazy claws, right? Where did our camera go? Uh... Uh, guess our camera's not here anymore. So those claws, as you can see, kind of latching. Oh, there's the camera. Oh, there's a different camera. Those claws are excellent for helping them to climb and also to dig. And you may be wondering, are those claws sharp? Absolutely they are sharp, which is why these animals have a pretty good defense system in case anything comes into the environment. It's like, oh, that looks like a tasty snack. What do you guys think would eat a tamandua? Eat a no, termites wouldn't eat tamanduas. Tamanduas eat termites. Maybe a jaguar? Do you think a jaguar would eat a tamandua? Well, probably. Well, a lion would if a lion could find one, but unfortunately they don't live in the same place. But jaguar would definitely be a candidate. So if you've got big claws like that, you can definitely help to ward off some predators. How cute is that, right? Oh, and did you see that long tongue come out? So they have incredibly long tongues. And do you know what those tongues are used for? Yeah. You can get those tongues all the way into termite and ant mounds so that you, so that this animal is capable of getting a meal. Thousands of termites and ants they can eat in a single setting. I've ever done.